again, we're going to start completely fresh to face because we're going to be doing kind of like a wing look and I find it so much easier just to clean up after myself if I haven't done my base first. We are going to go ahead and do our eyebrows first and for that we're going to use the Soap and Glory Brow Archery in Hot Chocolate and the Maybelline Brow Precise Fibre Volumizer in Deep Brown. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera just because everyone does theirs differently and I plan to do an eyebrow routine quite soon so let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that. So I've just gone ahead and filled them in with the pencil and now I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline product. This one's really good if you have kind of thinner brows like me just because it's got fibres in it so it gives the appearance of like a thicker brow and also sets them in place. I really like to concentrate this through the front and kind of brush up and then brush the excess through. Now I'm kind of in the mood for quite like a sculpted glam brow so I'm going to take my NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 03 just to sculpt out underneath and then lightly on the top. And to do that I'm taking a Sigma F70 concealer brush. I'm going to take a little bit on my brush. You want to concentrate it just where you want the brightest point to be. So that tends to be under the arch. And then you just kind of take the excess this side. And then you can drag it down. And then just taking, like I said, a little bit um, along the top. I'm in the mood for a glam brow today. So with both eyebrows now sculpted out, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. And to do that, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in the colour Creme de Nude. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my Sigma Firm Blender E44 just to apply that. This is such a good dupe for the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. It's like exactly the same colour and I find it to work just as well as well. You can see we are going glam today. Prepping for the gourds, honey. And then obviously you can blend your concealer into that as well. Once you've primed both eyes, you can set them in place with the powder. I'm just going to use the face powder that I plan to use, which is the Rimmel Clear Complexion, Tra Cl Bleh. Clear Complexion Translucent Powder. I'm now just going to go ahead and do one eye off camera because I'm actually not 100% sure what I want to do yet. And then I'll be back to show you how I did it. Okay, so to begin, we are going to take the Sleek Eye Divine Palette. And this one is in the shade on the horizon. And we are just gonna take this color here and this is gonna be our initial transition color. So I'm just kind of concentrating this above my crease. It doesn't matter so much if we do get it down a little bit because we're gonna clean it up with our with the Maybelline color tattoo that we use to prime our eyes. So this is a Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And like I said, just in windscreen micro motions, just concentrating that above our lid into our crease. You do kind of want to take it quite high because it's going to be our initial transition colour and we're going to be applying darker colours underneath so you still want it to kind of like peep through. Like that. Then for the next colour I'm just going to take the bronzer that I plan to use and this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronzer in the shade 02 and yeah, just using that as our second colour to further define the crease. And I'm just taking a MAC 217 to do this. Bronzers make such good crease colours if they're particularly quite warm and because this is quite a warm look we're going for I thought why not. Then going back in with the Zoeva brush with no extra product on just blending them together. Again taking another sleek palette this is such a gorgeous everyday palette this is the Eye Divine palette in A New Day. I'm just going in with this dark brown colour here and this is when you can start to really define your crease. I'm going to just take a pencil brush this is a Sigma E30 pencil brush and just concentrate this right into your crease. Like I said it doesn't matter if it um, comes down onto your lid so much because we are going to clean that up. But little is definitely more because it's better to be able to build it up because it's much easier to build it up than to take it away. So just pressing really lightly. It also helps to look down as well. Just kind of the basic outline that we want. 
like that. And then it's almost just like doing one big reverse. So I'm now taking the 217 with the bronzer and it's just using that to blend that line. And then again with the Zoeva brush, like so. Then I'm actually gonna take that 217 and dip it in the bronzer and the dark brown color that we used on the pencil brush and just really use kind of back and forth motions just to soften that out a little bit more. Then you just kind of want to repeat those steps until you're kind of happy. I mean, we are going to further define it after we've applied the lid colour, but just so you can see it. I'm going to kind of leave it like that. Then I'm going back in with the colour tattoo and we're going to use this to kind of sculpt out the crease. We're going to use this to kind of sculpt out the crease and give ourselves a really, really good base for when we apply our lid colours. So on a Luxie 213 brush, pick up the eye base and you could use the NYX concealer that we used earlier to do this or whatever eye base that you've used. Just something that's kind of like a plain colour. Stretching out your eye as well really helps just to kind of make the skin tight. This is why I said it doesn't matter so much if you get kind of shadow on your lid because we are cleaning it up. Like that. For our lid colour, I'm taking this Barry M Dazzle Dust in the colour bronze. I literally found this in Superdrug the other day and I'm obsessed. I'm it's such a gorgeous bronze colour. And we're just literally gonna pack that on the top of where we just applied that product. And I'm doing this with a I think this is a 228 brush from MAC, one of the little ginger ones. I'm just kind of looking down and then packing it on. I'm obsessed with this colour, it's so nice. These kind of coloured pigments are my absolute fave. And then now this is kind of just like a little bit of going back and forth and just really defining the crease however defined Lee, 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 that you want it. So I'm just taking that pencil brush, just kind of tracing over the top, just kind of buffing that in. Then just going back in with my fluffy brush. Like so. And now is the exciting part, it's time for glitter. So I'm gonna be mixing these two NYX glitters. It is in the color 05 and 04. One is more of that kind of classic copper color and the other one is a bit more of a gold. Just cause this lid was kind of not too gold and it wasn't too copper. So I thought I'll mix them together and create my own. So for glitter adhesive, you can literally just use eyelash glue from the drugstore. So I'm just gonna apply the glue using this Sigma Shader Lid E56 brush and just press basically just where we applied the lid color. So just applied the glue like that and then taking this Coastal Scents BRC S20 brush, which is literally just like a little flat brush, I've mixed my glitters together just on a little tray and I'm just gonna press them onto the glue. Again, looking down will help make sure the glitter doesn't transfer. And you can really pack it on up to the crease. This is why I do my eyes first. So once you're happy with the amount of glitter that you've got going on, you can now go back in and further define your crease. Because as you can see, we've not only like lost the crease, but it could just do with a little bit further definition. So I'm just going to be going back in with my pencil brush. And also a little brush like this. This is the Sigma flat definer brush and that's going to really help define our crease as well. So I'm just going back in with the dark brown from that sleek palette that we've been using this whole time. And then going back into that other sleek palette that we used for the initial transition colour, I'm just going to take this shimmery black shade and just use that on that flat definer brush to further deepen up our crease. So like I said, less is always more so I've only kind of dabbed my brush in slightly then I'm gonna use little back and forth strokes. That way we're not applying too much and it kind of helps to avoid mistakes. 
And then just going back in with the fluff and brush to blend it out. Now time to clean up the mess. I'm just taking a wipe. Ooh. I'm wiping up all the glitter from underneath my eyes. And then just kind of wiping towards the tail of my brow. So now we have a good base and a clean wing for doing our winged liner. For winged liner, I am going to take the Maybelline Brow Precise in Forest Brown. So not quite black, but it is a really dark brown. I thought that'd just be something a little different instead of your classic black wing. And I think brown around this time of year is really flattering and it will tie in with the lip that we do. So if this is anything like this one, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera just because it kind of requires a little bit of faffing and I'm probably going to end up going really far. Down. But I do have a wing liner tutorial and I always think it down below. It's the same concept. Obviously, I'm just using a different product. If there was a brown gel liner, I'd probably recommend using that. But this is the only kind of brown liner I had from the drugstore. So I finished doing my eyeliner now and now I'm going to just apply mascara. Mascara, I'm taking the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Fatel, I think it is, in black. And then it's obviously not a glam look without a pair of lashes. And these are the 009s from Eye Candy. So they're super wispy, super fluttery, so perfect for this look. This is what the eyes look like with mascara and lashes on. Now onto the face. We'll come back to the under eyes in a minute. Okay, so for skin, I'm going to be mixing my NYX Angel Veil Primer together and the NYX Liquid Illuminator in pure gold. If you watched one of my previous videos, you know I really am into mixing my primers with liquid illuminators at the moment just because it gives a bit more colour to the skin and it kind of gives you a really nice glow from underneath. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Multi Task Brush. I always get that wrong. And it just buff that in as I normally would with my primers. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation in the shade 56 Light Bronze. This is a really nice foundation if you would like quite a dewy finish and kind of like a medium to buildable coverage. To buff that in, I'm just going to take my Blank Canvas Cosmetics F20 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And just kind of press that into the skin and then buff it in. The thing that I love about Bourjois products is that they smell so good, like their chocolate bronzers. This foundation smells really nice as well. Then for concealer, I'm going to take the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Pen Concealer in the colour 02 Nude. Just kind of applying this underneath my eyes. This actually has a quite a full coverage and you can use the brush to really sharpen up your wing. Then you can just drag it down. And then I'm just going to take my Real Technique sponge to blend that in. For cream contour, I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Sculpt and just concentrate the product sort of on the more tan side. And this is in the shade Medium 02. Then I'm just going to take a duo fibre brush to blend that in and this is just like a, a MAC 130 brush. I really like this as a cream contour, it's not too warm and it definitely has kind of cool undertones to it. So it actually looks like a really natural contour because creams tend to look the most natural anyway just because they blend in a bit better. Once I've applied all the creams that I want to apply to my skin, I'm just going to go ahead and set it using the Rimmel Clear Complexion Translucent Powder. Once that's all set in place, I am just going to go ahead and go in with the bronzer that we used earlier as that, an a little bit, as that initial transition colour. This is the L'Oreal Glam Bronzer in 02. And I'm not so much going to use it to define, more just kind of add a little bit of warmth to my skin, because you see we kind of cream contoured and that adds a little definition for us. And this is a MAC 135, and this is like my favourite brush to apply bronzer if you just want it to be it's really soft. For blusher, I am going to take this, oop, let me open it, this NYX Ombre Brush Blush in the colour Soft Flush. It is like a really gorgeous peachy colour. I think that's just going to really tie in with all the colours that we use on the eyes. I find these blushes to be really pigmented, so I make sure I'm just kind of like dabbing it on my face so I don't dispense too much. Then for my highlight, you guys know I'm obsessed with this at the moment, it is the Sleek Cleopatra's Kiss Highlighting Palette, and I'm gonna take 
this colour right here just because I think that one applies the nicest. And I'm just going to use my Morphe M511 brush to do that. This is honestly one of the like best highlighters I've used and the fact that it's from Sleek and from like the drugstore and it's at such an affordable price is amazing. So that is the skin complete. We're now just gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes. So for underneath my eyes, I'm literally gonna take the bronzer that we used earlier on a pencil brush and just run that along my lower lash line. For a little inner corner highlight, I'm gonna take the highlighting color that we used from the, the Cleopatra's Kiss palette and then just apply that in my inner corner. And then I'm just going to take the same mascara we used as well and just apply some mascara to my lower lashes. So this is the finished eye look. I'm literally so, so happy with the way that came out and now it's time to decide what lip you want to go for. Now I think this is kind of the good thing about warm tone looks and why they're so popular because literally any lip that you pair with a warm tone look tends to go but because I used kind of brown tones and it's a kind of a classic fall look I am going to go ahead and do a brown lip. I wore a brown lip previously and loads of you guys liked it as well so that kind of inspired me to do one again. This time I'm literally just going to take a lip liner. This is the Max Factor Color Elixir Lip Pencil in the shade Brown and Bold. I'm just going to take this colour all over my lips and use it as my whole lip colour because I actually couldn't find a matte brown lip stick or liquid lipstick from the drugstore. There might be a NYX lip lingerie but I kind of wanted to mix it up a bit in terms of brands in this video and all the other kind of brands that I saw were really like purpley brown or like wine kind of colour. Once you've gone ahead and done that, I'm just going to tidy up slightly with concealer, but that is the finished look. So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like it. I know it's kind of like a classic makeup look, like warm eyes and a brown lip, but I thought I would just get the ball rolling with something that I thought loads of you would enjoy and appreciate, considering it was all using drugstore products. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and definitely tag me on Instagram if you recreate this look as well. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and obviously I do have a uh, selection of ideas ideas myself but let me know in the comments down below any other full looks that you'd like to see from me or just full videos in general but yeah thank you so much for watching and until next time i'll see you soon bye guys